Okay, expected value. Um, this is the reason Las Vegas is built on this simple idea. They don't build those uh, really nice fancy skyscrapers and light that thing up like the sun every night because they're not making any money from you. So a local outdoor organization is selling raffle tickets for an AR-15 rifle valued at $1,500. They're going to sell 1,000 tickets at $5 a piece. So um, what we do here and you can, you know, you can kind of, this is kind of a small scale uh, problem that we could calculate pretty quickly. A um, thousand times five bucks, is f we're going to make five grand if we sell every ticket. And you subtract that from 1500 and that's what we're going to make. Okay, expected value um, is similar to that in the terms of, but I'll, I'll show you how to find it with a frequency distribution. Or, or, uh, yeah, pr or probability distribution, excuse me. So the chances of winning are 1 in 1,000. And the chances of losing, well, there are 999 losers in that bucket of tickets out of 1,000 tickets. Okay. Now, we are going to buy a ticket, so we are guaranteed to lose 5 bucks, minus 5. But, since we've already invested five bucks into this investment, I guess you could call it that, uh, we are going to win in a $1,500 gun, we could potentially win $1,495. Okay. So, here's what's kind of cool about this. If you, if you looked at my mean uh, probability distributions, that's essentially what we're going to do now to get the expected value. So... Um, so we've got 1,400, and it's, it, it literally is mean, but uh, since it's expected value, we use a capital E for that. And so E at X equals $1,495 times 1 over 1,000. Okay. Then plus a negative 5 times 999 out of 1,000 losers. So 999 losers out of 1,000 tickets. And then you go ahead and calculate that. So 1495 times 1 over 1,000 plus negative 5 times 999 divided by 1,000 gives you a negative $3.50 loss. Okay, so if you think of that in a ratio out of every $5 we invest, we expect to lose 350 out of every five bucks. And so if you divide that out, if you simplify it, that is a negative 0.7 out of every dollar. So 70 cents of every, we're going to lose 70 cents of every dollar we invest in this. So if you could kind of imagine this, instead of a thought, you know, if we went every day and bought another ticket, and bought a whole bunch of tickets. Um, out of every one of those dollars we spend, you know, out of every five dollars we spend, we're going to expect to lose three dollars and fifty cents. And for the whole, if we bought all one thousand dollars, we would lose seventy cents on every dollar. And so, if you t and if you figure that seventy cents on every dollar, that is for that is thirty five hundred bucks. So, which is, which is what we started with, which is uh, 3500 uh, or 5000 minus 1500 which is $3,500. So we're going to lose that if we do all, all 1000 So kind of that, the math checks out then. So that's expected value for kind of a simple case. But let's look at one that's a little more complicated. So a local outdoor organization is selling raffle tickets for a gun valued at $1,200. A hunting trip valued at $5,000 and a knife valued at $100. So they're going to sell 1,000 tickets at 10 bucks a piece. So in this case, um, we've got a couple, we've got three columns for winning. So win, win, win. You've got a 1 in 1,000 chance of winning the uh, 
um, five thousand dollar prize you've got a one in one thousand chance of winning the twelve hundred dollar prize ah but that's not and I'm messing up already we'll come back to it and you got a one in one hundred chance of winning the hundred dollar prize I'll just keep going but to lose we've one in one thousand to lose we've got a nine hundred and ninety seven there are nine hundred and ninety seven losers in this pile of one thousand tickets okay and you are gonna lose ten dollars for every ticket you buy because that's what the tickets cost so that means I need to go back and so instead of a hundred that's uh, that winning is only ninety dollars because we inve we're investing ten dollars in the ticket whoops and so um, twelve hundred dollars now beca or yeah now becomes one thousand one hundred and ninety bucks we could win and five thousand becomes four thousand nine hundred and ninety that we could win because we've already invested ten dollars to purchase the winning ticket okay so then again we're just going to do the mean which we'll call expected value so it'd be four nine nine oh times one over one thousand plus one one nine oh times one over one thousand plus ninety times one over one thousand minus 10 or plus a negative ten dollars times nine nine seven over one thousand okay so you do the math to that and you get um, negative three dollars and seventy cents out of every you know and again that's excuse me that's our expected value for this problem now if you wanted to calculate that per dollar to kind of check your work here, that's th negative 3.7 out of the $10 we spent, which is negative 0.37. So for every dollar we invest in this game, we're going to lose um, 37 cents. And if you go back and calculate it, that is um, $3,700 that, that you could potentially win if you're the organization. All right, so what happens if the expected value is zero? Well, if the expected value is zero, we have what's called a fair game. Um, even, even up, you can, you're going to win just as much as you put in if you play long enough. So that's a, if uh, the expected value is zero. So you want to play games that are as close to that as you can get. I mean, in Vegas, you will never, I don't, you know, you will never find anything that's positive. Because what happens when it's positive is now the game favors the player so in this one game favors player okay the bottom one what happens when the expected value is negative well the game favors the house which is what I've been doing you know my last two games they have uh, those games favor the house and the house, I mean the organization uh, putting on the raffle or the organization doing the, the game. Um, you see these in fairs all the time. The really fun, fun one I've always thought about or always think about is the tossing, the coin, tossing coins or tossing, uh, tossing uh, hoops into a, into, onto bottles. So now you can actually calculate... Uh, you calculate your expected value using area formulas, which is pretty cool. So based on, here's just some statistics from you, you know, just to tell you not to go out and gamble. From the book, Probability in Everyday Life, Ivy Books, 1986, in uh, the game of Kino, the house wins 27 out of every dollar you bet. So if you, if 10,000 people went and invested all $10,000, $1 a piece, you know, they would give 0.27 times that 10,000 to the house. So they would keep that money. So 2,700 bucks. Okay, roulette's even worse. 
Uh, roulette. Um, the house wins 90 cents for every dollar you bet. So they are keeping 90% of, of all the money invested. And, you, you know, you have that random winner. But they don't care about that random winner. They want that because they want to entice more people to come. So that one winner, that one $10,000 or $1,000, they're going to advertise the heck out of that. Um, but in the end, in the end, you've given up. Um, if everybody pooled their money and went to Vegas and played roulette, you're looking at, on average, and again, these are on average, you're gonna, they're going to lose 90% of that money. So you're not going to go home very well. And then craps is the same. Uh, it's 80, around the same. It's 88 cents for every dollar you bet. Um, I've heard blackjack is better, but I don't, you know, I don't have the odds on that one. But it's not much better. Because <laughs> anytime it's negative, all these are negative. And I should put it. These are all negative expected values. You're going to lose that 88 cents for every dollar you purchase. The house is going to keep it. So when they invest, so if you went up there, you're, all your friends, you're going to Vegas this weekend, and all your friends pool, um, pool give you you know a hundred bucks a piece, um, and you go and play roulette with their money, and you have ten friends at a hundred, you know at a hundred dollars, so you've got a thousand dollars of their money. Um, you're probably going to come back with uh, a hundred bucks in your pocket so you know a thousand times 0.9 uh, is nine hundred dollars and the house is going to keep that <laughs> that's a, that's essentially what's going to happen to it um, you're going to come back with a hundred dollars in your pocket so anyway here's your uh, expected value and probably the the one formula that is used more than anything uh, over the history of time with uh, gambling. So best of luck and see you next time.